Yeah, man. I think Street Fighter was easier to get the moves out, man. That <laughs> Mortal Kombat was insane. Oh, easy. easy. Okay, yeah. You, you, you wouldn't want to see me in Street Fighter Five, then. Yeah, I, I listen, man. I ain't no Street Fighter dude, man. I ain't that, I ain't that awesome, man. What's good, man? My brother walked up here in the studio. What's good with you, brother? I know you over there listening in. Yeah, I was getting my laugh on. Are you, are you laughing, huh? Yes, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. We comical now. Yes. <laughs> he told me yes. <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. Is some clown here to amuse you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He like think we ain't here to amuse you, man. We ain't here amusing you. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed it thoroughly, especially when we start talking about Kim Kardashian. It boggles my mind how oh, dear Lord. you and some brothers can't get into Kim. I love Kim Kardashian. She is just her skin and her, even when she was younger, just, you know, it wasn't like she was white. She was like not white. She was Persian. like white, but not white. She was just some exotic blend of something. Uh, so I guess that's what some guys get into, man. I, 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 I liked it. I probably would have got caught up too. Why, why, why you saying liked it? You put a D on it in like past tense. You mad at Kanye with her now? No, no, man. It's like, like you said, she got that curse thing, man. It's like, you know, she'll be that <laughs> one chick like destroy your yeah, whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll be on top. You know what I'm saying? Like Reggie Bush was. Now, you know, where is he? You know what I'm saying? Where is Reggie? <laughs> right, man. Like, you know, if, if, Ray J still eating because Ray J eating off the tape. You know what I'm saying? Ray J, Ray J propelled from that tape. Yeah, Reggie Bush probably right now is right up under Kesey's, you know, porch right now. Like, I probably just gave him, went outside and gave him some chicken that Kesey just cooked. That's that's how much we don't, what Reggie Bush is doing right now. Damn, man. <laughs> Reggie Bush going to come see you, son. You done, you done put that shit on public internet too, man? Reggie Bush about to see that dude. Like, hey, that's, that's that what nigga Kim brother. Did, man. That's what Kim did. So, no. you, but you would rather you would like to be used up like that too. That's what it sounds like. No, I think I think she probably even influenced her father to turn into a woman, man. Who knows? It was all all kill. <laughs> My bad. Uh, 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 um, Vince Rice said they're Armenian. My bad. I said Persian. Yeah, they're Armenian. Armenian. Yeah, Armenian. That's like a, that's one of the countries like over by Russia somewhere, right? I don't know. I don't know my geography real yeah. good. You in school, bro? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I, the semester the semester is over, man. The, the semester is over today. Do not ask me any school related questions. I cannot help you. I am on vacation. <laughs> I got you, man. When school back in? Um, whenever UNLV accepts me. Ah, we're going to UNLV. College. A running rebel. I got you, brother. That's good. Hey, so you gonna move to Vegas or what? Yep, I'm moving back there this fall actually and i wish it was december already i am very impatient bro i love that city man even though it's all showing you know games i don't know how it is living regular life but actually we got a cousin there man dude named uh dada i ain't gonna mention that guy because he mm-hmm. also was a cripple of blood or one of them man I ain't, I ain't about to say nothing bad about dada what up shout out to dada that's my wife's uh <laughs> cousin but that dude was driving man like and it was like DUI drunk came picked us up from in Vegas, man. And was driving like 120 miles an hour on the interstate. And I was like, oh my God, we about to die. He was like, hey man, chill out over there. I'm like, all right, man, we good, we good. We all on the other side of the road and shit. I'm like, why am I riding with somebody drunk, man? And this dude, he's he still doing his thing. He alive. He, I guess he still got his license or whatever, but I'm just saying, man. Shout out to Dada if you ever listen to this, man. I ain't saying nothing to you negative, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? You still my cub. Damn, that's the thing yeah, about um, podcasts, man. Not, not me. You put you put, put, put on blast and shit. Yeah, he, he like a triple OG and shit, man. Straight out of Compton. He from Compton for real. So, you know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't no joke, man. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> he said, that's great. Hey, hey man. <laughs> hey, we're going to cut that topic off right quick. On to the next topic right quick, man. We're we going to stop talking about Dada. What up, Dada? Um, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the Levar. Like, I'm not saying anything bad. He's saying nothing oh, oh, bad. Lord. Hey, he in Vegas too. He gonna oh, come see you, Lord. man. As soon as you move there, like, yeah, nigga, you was with him. You was with him. Hey, like, he said it, not me. <laughs> not me. I'm the nice guy. <laughs> hey, man. Let's hey, go man. to White Castle. 
Hey, shout out to my man GRF from this piece, man. Killer Road Finest, man. Representing that Jacksonville, Florida, man. You know what I'm saying? That's Doug cousin up in here. Uh, welcome, bro. Hey, are you up on the whole LeVar Ball brand, man? The baller, uh, big baller brand shoes? Eh? Uh, Have you been following the story? Them expensive ass Fisher Price, my first pro wing. Yeah, I've been seeing those. <laughs> now, I mean, my man and dropped it, man. He got these shoes out here. Like, like I said on my last podcast, I'd rather have some ponies or some. <laughs> you remember that ponies back in the day? I might even have some sketches, the shaper yeah, sketches. I still I'll, rock ponies. Huh? I still rock ponies. You rock ponies? I hey, rock ponies. I ain't hating on you and your ponies, bro. I rock some. I rock some sketches, the shaper joints, the mo- the joint that make your booty shape. You know what I'm saying? I rock them before I go get these big baller brands. <laughs> That's the lady shoes and shit, man. I I walk around with them joints, man, first before I pay nine hundred dollars for some damn big baller brand shoes, man. And, and I'm just saying, man. You I done listen to a lot of podcasts this week. They talk about dude doing his thing. Why we hating on the man? You know what I'm saying? Putting doing his thing. And we you know what I'm saying? As far as you got other major companies, Nike and all them, who pretty much is uh, we selling our soul for them. And why we can't congratulate a man doing his hustle and making his business. And I ain't hating on his, on his thing. I, it's just not for me. I'm not buying it. I just told y'all personally what I'm not buying. But if y'all want to buy the Walmart specials that got the three B's on it, you know what I'm saying? And go for it, man. You know what I'm saying? For $900. I just feel exactly. like I just feel like you got took. I mean, any yeah. shoe you got took. If it was Nikes for $900, you got took. That's just me. That's just not, not my, my lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That shit you costs could. way too much. Look, I know I know people want to say support your own, and I respect that. I do that when I can. And the reason I do that is because I can fucking afford it. And it's not four ninety five for a pair of sneakers. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> exactly, man. The priorities is wrong, man. There's nothing that you can do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people associate that shit is better because it costs more. You know what I'm saying? If I go and get a jar of Miracle Whip, no. if I get a jar of Miracle Whip, and the Miracle Whip is normally $2.35, just because you got a jar of Miracle Whip that's $20.35, people are like, man, I got that good uh, Miracle Whip, man. It's made with uh, cage-free eggs and, um, and, and virgin olive oil up in this joint. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? So, they, so, so people go buy because they think it's quality because it costs more. That's not necessarily the case, man. Yeah. It, it don't make no sense. Money, it don't make no sense here, man. And, and so, so, so things that cost more don't necessarily equate to being better. I, I mean, and, and that's my whole thing is dude could, could have brought a better price point. He could have did more with a better price point. I don't know what it cost him to make them shoes, but say, say it was a hundred dollars for sneakers. Fools might have went out and got them. This fool gonna price them way up there, and and because you can't get them, say, oh, I guess you ain't a big baller then. Uh, uh, he can go fuck right off him and his ugly ass <laughs> big baller boats. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. Damn, man. I just don't understand it, man. Dude in his marketing plan. I mean, like I said, he can he can be a, a boastful father. He can really put out the put out what he want to put out, and I don't have no problem with it. But like I said, it's. It's the quality of the of the product. I don't know because I don't own any. But for real, number one, I got an issue with you doing your marketing. You're out doing a photo shoot or whatever, talking about your shoes. You had a press conference talking about the shoes, and none of them got the shoes on. One of them got on some Jordans. Another one might got on some Converse. Another one had on Jordans or whatever, or LeBrons or whatever they had on. How you gonna be at a press conference without the product on? That shit already got me tripping. Like, nah, y'all getting got. Y'all getting got. This dude can't even afford their own damn shoes or something. Yeah. His, his uh, father is, man, what, what was that famous speech should made at the uh, award show? Because that's what his daddy's looking like. All in the video, like you want to like be. <laughs> puff, yeah. Yeah, like, man. His father ball's looking a lot like puffy right now, man. Dude's going to be the downfall of his son's career before he even has a fucking career. Dude hasn't even been drafted yet. Why are you trying to sell some expensive-ass shoes? You ain't even drafted. Not everybody can be LeBron, 
And I don't even know why Will Braun got that fucking deal before he played one game. How much did they give him? What was it like? 90, like 900 million or whatever? What, what was that fucking Nike deal he got before he even stepped foot on the court? That's true. It was a crazy deal. Hey, somebody in the chat room, and I got my stat folks up in here, man. They the sports shows. I don't never know them numbers like that, man. Hey, oh. <laughs> sh- shout out, shout out to my man DJ P Funk, another X Squad affiliate. Found at X Squad affiliates dot com. Found at DJ P Funk dot com. That dude rocks on Tuesdays at one fifteen Eastern Standard Time. The mixes are fire. This dude has all kinds of music, all kinds of genres. He's representing, he's in Texas right now, but he's by the way of Cleveland, Ohio. That brother is out of Cleveland, Ohio. That's another OG. So I ain't going to say nothing bad about him, man. You don't mess around with P-Funk, man. That dude ain't no joke, man. He's like Dada in the Midwest. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't cross that cat. Oh, <laughs> but you'll say something bad about family members in Vegas. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. I'm not moving to Ohio. I'm moving to Vegas. <laughs> hey man, listen, Dada ain't looking for you, man. After he hear this show, he might, but I'm just saying, don't worry about it, man. You straight, man. Oh dear lord. <laughs> don't come after me. Don't come after me. I didn't say nothing bad. I'll, I'll buy Lamar Ball shoes. Just don't hurt me, please. Look, I messed up already because I done put, I done already said the man was blood or crip. I can't remember which one he was, so he probably already offended by me associating him with, you know what I'm saying, with with the, the, the C word or whatever they say. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to say C. Yeah, or you ain't supposed to say B. It worse for you. He said you work at Wendy, dude. Get him. He said you work at Wendy. Hey, that's right, man. I, I I ain't say nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we moved on the topic. How we get back here again, man? How we get back to this topic again, man? Let me keep it moving here, man. Y'all gonna stop talking about Dada, man. I'm telling you, man. The dude is official, man. He might actually hear this joint, man. Damn. Y'all gonna make me just sign off and erase this shit, man. Because he's gonna be like, yo, I'm coming to see you. That dude said he was coming down here on the Greyhound, too. Like, yo, can I stay with y'all? My wife. I'm, let me stop talking about him, man. Anyway, the next <laughs> <laughs> the next topic, <laughs> the next topic, man. Investor or spender, man. We we got a problem as a community, man, of putting away money. We some real uh, check by check folks, man. For real, and it's just life is hard. I know things come up, boom, boom, boom. Now. You yourself, you're a student. You work somewhere too, or are you just straight student? Um, I wasn't working at the moment. Uh, thank God for the GI Bill. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I put I, mean, it, I, I put fools on blast, blast, man. I put on I put fools on blast. <laughs> My bad, man. Anyway, yeah, he wasn't he working. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let me just talk about my financials. Hey, man, send me your resume, man. I got some jobs. I mean, I I definitely want to invest in things. Yeah. But I don't have that much money. Yeah. I mean, mean, after I pay bills and this and that, it's like I barely have enough for myself, man. I want to give back. I definitely want to put people on and help folks out. Right. But I don't have the damn money. You don't have the capital. I don't know other people's. Yeah, like I don't know other people's financial situations, which is why I can't put people down if they choose to spend whatever it is they want to spend on things. Go ahead. If you got the, if you got the way to do it, do it. But if you also got some way to, um, you know, put in towards the community or help a friend out or this or that, you know, if someone has a Patreon or PayPal, well, well, give them that money. Well, 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 I mean, you're saying what you're saying is noble. I'm not even talking about giving back, which is good because giving back is a, oh, is, a is an awesome okay. thing. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, why are you showing me your balance, man? I mean, my brother going to hand me his balance, and I'm not even going to call a number out here, but what, what was that about, man? Spender. Because uh, my brother saying he's a spender. Mean. So, yes, that's, that's what I'm talking about. And my brother, he's got a pretty good amount of money. I'm not gonna, I ain't going to disclose the amount of money because I don't want nobody knocking him over the head when he leave my house tonight. But <laughs> and telling him what he oh, drives. No, you've been putting people in Vegas off hey, <laughs> and then my, my cousin in Vegas going to come knock him over the head because <laughs> I don't save his money. But anyway, he said he's a spender too. 
So <laughs> that's what